Hello guys and welcome back to CEBAX tutorial channel and this is the continuation of our problems uh, numbers with exponent under chapter 4 exponent of college algebra okay so before time we start to solve please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the notifications of our youtube channel yeah so problem number 7 tayo so 1 over 4 raised to 3 so una syempre i-distribute natin yung exponent natin sa 1 and sa 4 so this is 1 raised to 3 over 4 raised to 3. So this is 1 or 1 over 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4. So ang answer natin dito is uh, ilan ba to? 4 raised to 3. So 16, 64. Tama ba? <laughs> so 1 over 4 raised to 3. So 1 over 64. Yan. 1 over 60. Next. Okay, so number 8, 1 over 4 raised to negative 3. So, I distribute ulit natin ating exponent. Pero this time, negative 3 na siya, no? So, 1 raised to negative 3 over 4 raised to negative 3. So, since negative sila parehas, ito itataas natin para mag-positive. Ito naman, ibababa natin para mag-positive. So, this is 4 raised to positive 3 over 1 raised to positive 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot dito is 64. Let's check. 1 over, raised, uh, 1 over 4 raised to negative 3 is 64. Next. Okay, so nagkaroon na tayo ng operation. Addition ng ating operation. So, so distribute natin to. And then, ito rin. Okay. Hindi natin pwedeng ano eh. Hindi natin pwedeng pagsamahin ng basta-basta to. Kasi, hmm. Yes, kasi magkaiba rin tayo ng base. And syempre, addition to. Hindi naman siya multiplication. Kasi yung 1 over 4 and 5 over 3 is yung base natin. We can rewrite this as what? As A raised to negative 3 plus B raised to positive 3. Parang ganyan. Okay. So, ano nyan to? Yung 1 over 4 raised to negative 3 is, di ba, 64? Ayan. So, pwede natin i-simplify to as 64 na lang. Then, ito, wala pa tayong sagot, no? So, 5 over 3. So, this is uh, plus uh, 5 raised to 3 over 3 raised to 3. So, ilan ba to? This is 64 plus... 5 raised to 3 is 25 times 5 is 125. Tama ba? 125 over uh, 3 raised to 3 is 27. So, ilan na magiging sagot natin dito? 125 over 27 is... Okay, so fraction na talaga siya, no? So, add na lang natin 64. So, uh, 1853 over 27. So, tama ako. Okay. So, 1853 over 27. So, fraction tayo. So, pwede nyo rin naman siyang gawing ano, uh, decimal. So, kung kung nyo. Okay. And then, number uh, 10. Okay. So, naka-minus na siya. Then, naka-negative naman to. Okay. So, this is positive 3, no? Ito, negative 3. So, saan ba yung positive 3? Ito. So, this is 1 over 64. So, 1 over... 64 minus okay so kung negative to ang mangyayari kasi i-distribute natin to no ayan so mangyayari ngayon dito is uh, 5 raised to negative 3 over 3 raised to negative 3 so ito itataas natin ito naman ibababa natin so ibig sabihin magkakabalitad lang yung 27 and 125 so this is equivalent to 1 over 64 minus 27 over 1, 2, 5. Pwede natin i-calcu yan. So, 1 over 64 minus 27 over 125. So, negative 1603 over 8,000 or 0.2. Okay. So, masyado na nga na yan. Masyado na nang... Anyway, kaya kaya naman yan kung ano, kung magbaba, uh, mag-manual tayo na solution. Pwede, pwede rin naman. 
Okay? So, negative 1603 over 8,000. I think pinag-multiply yung 64 and 25. Ah, so, 16 no, sa 8,000. Anyway, so medyo matagal na. Matagal lang yung pag minano man. Okay? Pero anyway, ang importante naman is dinidiscuss namin kung paano gamitin yung loss of exponent. Next, okay, problem 11 and 12. 1 over 3, that is 1 over 64, hindi ba? Multiplied by 5 over 3, then raised to negative 3 is what? Ito, di ba? So this is 27 over 125. So 27 over 125. 1 over 64 multiplied by 27 over 125. So 27 over 8,000. Yeah. And next, last problem. Okay, ano na siya? Division na yung ating operation, no? So pares pa rin naman to. This is 1 over 64. Then ito naman is... Pares lang din, 27 over 125. Ang rules kasi kapag naka-fraction, i-reciprocal natin. Okay? So, kunwari, um, A over 1 over B. So, i-reciprocal lang, lang natin yan. Gagawin natin siyang A multiplied by B over 1. Okay? So, i-reciprocal natin to. Ang mangyayari dito is 1 over 64 then multiplied by 125 over 27. Multiplied by 125 over 27. So, 125728. Uh, 1728. 125 over 1728. Then, i-double check natin. Magmula saan? Okay, dito. Sa number 9, no? So, number 9 natin is 1 fourth raised to 3. Tama ba? Um, okay. So, this is negative 3 pala. Sorry, sorry. So, negative 3. Then, plus 5 over 5 over 3 raised to 3. Sagot? 1853 over 27. Okay. Next, 1 fourth raise to 3 minus 5 over 3 raised to negative 3. Ang sagot is negative 1603 over 8,000. And then, number 11. Okay, so multiplied na siya. Ang sagot is 27 over 8,000. And ito naman is divide na. 125 over 1728. So, ayun. Hanggang dun lamang yung mga example natin. The numbers with exponent. Actually, madali lang siya kasi number siya. Ba? Hindi pa siya yung variables. Actually, yung ating uh, next uh, set of problems is all about variables with exponents. Pero hanggang dito na lamang yung ating video. So, gawin natin nyo sa ating next video. So, ayan. So, tapos na tayo sa ating ano, problem set for the numbers with exponent. And I hope marami kayo natunan dito sa CFAX online tutorial. And yes, uh, inasahan po namin kayo na mag-subscribe and um, i-hit yung ating bell icon para magkaroon kayo ng notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!